San Juan me toca. Como si los adoquines fuesen teclas de un piano azul. Corre la corriente con sus notas de luz. Sueños enteros en esquinas sin fin. Musa viajera que renace en mí. Poets Passage is a living museum of poetry and art resource center, which is still in its baby steps. Um, it's come a long way, but it has a way to go. Um, it's a place where I felt uh, San Juan and Puerto Rico in general needed a, a neutral zone for artists and especially poets that they could come without any type of um, judgment. It's really something that I needed growing up and now I'm happy that it's here for others who are coming through this passage. Do you feel that, that Puerto Rico and San Juan specifically is, is lacking in these types of places? They used to lack before. I mean, there was a huge gap, but as uh, time goes by, these gaps are being filled in different areas. So it's coming, it's, it's alive now and it's, um, it's strong. So give us some thoughts on art and culture in San Juan today. Art and culture in San Juan today. Well, San Juan in general, as you walk through the streets, it's apparent. Um, the diverse, the diversity of all the of all the Puerto Ricans that come from around the island, because you know San Juan is the is the capital city, and we do have all the art schools that are at the top of the hill. So you get a chance to meet everybody, and what's really good is because we have the tourism and uh, constant flux of um, people from around the world adds to um, the inspiration that artists need to see the rest of the world. You know, it's not just closed in on a little island, so it's a great place for artists. Coming from my perspective, which is through poetry, I believe that everyone has a voice. And it's necessary, given the the hustle and bustle of having to work extra hard nowadays, that you need a place to voice that. You need a, an outlet. And my, um, my Poet's Passage, it's that outlet. You need to, and not everyone is a poet, but everyone has something to say. And it's uh, therapeutical to be able to express yourself and have, literally have people who really want to listen to you. And in that listening, it, it changes themselves and unites a community. Um, we, San Juan especially is, is special. And it's important that we don't, the world doesn't see old San Juan as just a, a buyer's market. It really is a hub of talent and it goes unseen sometimes. I mean, there's amazing talent that's just, breathtaking and there's only you need a place like this to so that it feels free that attracts that type of talent and we can see what we are really made of you know Puerto Rico is an island of enchantment and that's where you find the enchantment open mic night well basics are we have been having that open mic for over five years now and it's every single Tuesday at seven o'clock on the dot. Those are the basics. Now, we started um, very small and I didn't want to put any type of ads out because it's important that it's word of mouth. It's a word of mouth type of um, attraction. And slowly but surely, it's come to be a place where um, we become a community and a, a family of friends and we keep inviting new people in, and it's just it's just growing strong every every um, every Tuesday. It's a great great space, and it's important that it's neutral, so that we all feel comfortable. It's home for writers and artists if they like. There's nothing I can right off the bat say is negative about tourism in uh, Old San Juan or in Puerto Rico in general. Who doesn't want people to come visit them? You know. And not only do people want, I personally, because this is my home, I want people to come and I know that they will leave with something because we have an amazing culture. And when they leave, they're going to take, take that heart with them. And uh, so the more people that come to visit Puerto Rico, the better. Puerto Rican culture 
is colorful. It, uh, it stands on its own amid the cultures of the world. It's, um, it's full of love and fire, life. And one of the most amazing things is the attention to detail in our culture. We really, really um, put our heart and soul into what we do in the music, in the craftsmanship, I mean, singing, you name it. We, we are a community and a culture of expression, and that brings, um, that brings the world to us as well. You know, we love to share. We're very loud, very, very loud. I want to show that business and the emotional side of human or humanity can blend together and create an environment where we can support ourselves financially and in that process live without having to be so cold and in the you know in the sector in the financial sector that everything is like marble you know um, that we we can live and still make a uh, professional lifestyle around us. Poet's Passage is just a piece of that big puzzle and I think that we can, there is profit in art and poetry, there is, and we should, we should stick to that and I'm here to prove, I'm, to prove that the myth that, of, that poetry is um, a path of starvation, I want to break that myth, it is not. It's something that all nations uh, respect, poets, and we got to bring that back to life in this day and age. Yeah. I love lips on lollipops, little cheeks, the eye that blinks, the song sung on the breeze when the flowers breathe and scent the air. I love the way I love your hair. I love children as they sleep, secret slumber made to keep from fleeting eyes. I love words that, too, make up lullabies. Yeah, I like that one.